Hello and welcome back to Almouth Cricket Club. Yeah, um, there's no, absolutely nothing going on at the moment. The players are still in there for the tea in this match between Almouth and Tyndale Division 1, the Northumberland and Tyneside Cricket League. But Almouth have batted and they made a whopping 314 for three in their innings. Um, so we'll go through what happened in that one. Um, it was Almouth who batted first and it was... Um, when it got started, Straker and Johnny Craigs, who opened with an 180 run partnership for the first wicket, um, and they got the runs going. And the 50 came up in the 12th over, with those two going steady along. By 15 overs, the score was at 78 for none, and that was at the hour mark, and that was when we first came on the air here on Speaker Internet Radio. So it was more or less all on mouth at that time. But then came Tyndale's chance. And Straker was dropped twice, once and in there at um, mid-off, then once down deep in the offside. Um, both were very takeable chances, but they went down, and that just opened the gate for Straker and Craigs to go on more. By the 30th over, the 150 was up with Craigs at 60 and Straker at 71, and there were still no wickets had fallen for Tyndale. But um, they stuck at it, and Tom Cant changed the bowling round. He went and Scott had opened, then McCabe had come on, and Candy self. And then it was back as the middle overs came to, um, as we came to the middle overs in the innings, Cuthbertson came on as well, and Paul Newton eventually, and that was by the 40th over, he'd used the six bowlers, and then it was into the second spells. Renton came back for his second, but... Um, there was a little gap when the wicket fell, the first wicket fell, and that was at 180 when Craig's lashed out at one, trying trying to pop the score along, um, and that was at the 36th over, the score, trying to get the score along as they came up towards the last 10, and the run rate did drop then, it dropped down to about 3 and over, about the lowest it was in the Almouth innings by that time, and um, after that, Straker made his way as well but Craigs was out for 78 a very well made 78 in the 36th and that was at 20 to 4 he was caught by Scott bowled by Paul Newton who took the first wicket and that was his 22nd wicket of the league season for Tyndale as the innings progressed 64 runs went between came to Almouth between the 31st and 40th over and as I said the run rate did drop just a little bit um, but Hamantha came in as the third wicket and on the back of his um, 98 last week and opening the innings last night in the winning cup final for Almouth he got to it straight away and in, an, in an innings of 35 minutes or so he managed to hit away 61 runs to his name before he was um, dismissed as the third wicket. But before that, um, Josh Renton got it in on the action. Uh, the 250 came up, um, then Straker was out, and he got to 50 with a nice um, shot um, in the innings as well, in his innings. And then for his 100, he played away nicely off his toes up towards square leg. Um, for his 100 that came up at just um, before he got out just about 10 past 4 his 100 came up and he went not long after that without adding to his score when the score was at 253 for the second wicket and then it was really as you like a 50 partnership um, ended the Allen mouth innings which was good for them there was well over 20 extras and the last wicket to fall was Hamantha himself a couple of minutes after strike out when the score was at 260 three for three and the from there it was um, the, as I said the last 50 odd runs were put on in a nice fourth wicket partnership and they went up they took the score along to 314 for three by the end so uh, work like and um, hard working afternoon for the Tyndale bowlers but um, the players have all come back out on the pitch at the moment as they've um, as they're about to start their second innings. Um, it's going to be Tom Cant and Dan Parker to open up as they have done for the last couple of games, and uh, maybe Denton who's about to open the bowling for Almouth here, and Johnny Craig's is down at this end at mid off at the minute, um, and Vickers. Because the captain, 
Can't see him at the moment, but uh, he'll be about there somewhere. So at Tyndale anyway, they need 315 to win in, uh, what are we on, 3 hours and 25 minutes now, or 50 overs, whichever comes the earliest. And the weather here at the moment, it's brightened up and the breeze has dropped, so it's a little bit warmer here at Almouth at the minute. Um, the big patch of blue sky has just been covered up, and the umpires are about, uh, is just are just checking everything's in order here. We've got... Plenty more spectators here at uh, the seaside now for this match. And we're about to have the first over, and it's going to be Tom Cant, the captain of Tyndale, with one slip in place to face the first ball here. And he lets it go outside the off stump, and it um, just bounces in front of the wicketkeeper there, and there's no run. So more than a runner ball needed here by Tyndale, 315 needed and there's 299 balls left in the second innings here after that one and here's Denton again who's about to bowl Kant jams the bat down and it was a full ball and it kept low and he missed it and it comes through to the wicket keeper again and there's no run so it's um, quite a while since I, I at least have seen the innings where the first three batsmen have got 50s and one's gone on to 100. But there we go. It was a very good performance by the home side, or the top three batsmen and the top five batsmen in essence for them. But um, that ball just driven away by Kant there, and it goes to extra cover. So um, we've got one slip, a third man, um, a point, that's Samantha, a uh, cover, cover point, and we've got an author backward point there, cover point, an extra cover, a mid off, a mid on, a mid wicket, and a square leg. Here's the next one now, and Kant doesn't offer a shot to that one, and it comes through the wicket keeper, and there's no run. And uh, it's one for no wicket so far. They haven't scored a run, have they? The scoreboard must be, um, must start on one. And here's um, Danton again, who's about to bowl right arm over the wicket, and it's a full toss, and Kant drives, but um, it doesn't uh, beat extra cover there, and it's picked up quickly. And the problem, maybe with the weather now, is that some of the clouds up there, it's, it's high cloud away to the left where the weather's coming from, but this breeze... Um, I hope it's a bit strong up there, because there's some grey-looking clouds as well. If it just keeps moving over as Denton bowls again, and again it's low and full as it bounces. And again, Can tries to jam the bat down there, and a plume of dust comes up as the ball races through to the wicketkeeper. There's no run, so um, Kant on strike, yeah? Here's the next ball now. Kant and plays this hard out to extra cover point there and there's no run off the last ball of the first over there here and Tyndale are underway it's um, naught for naught at the moment and they need 315 to win and Cantley is who steers at the non-striker's end so 49 overs left here uh, one over gone in this second innings. And it's going to be the left-handed Parker who's about to take strike for the first time. And he's going to have a slip. That's Craig's. Um, we're going to have a fine leg up by the clubhouse there. We're going to have a square leg and a mid-wicket, a mid-on, a mid-off. Um, a short a gully going in there. That's a mantha. Um, a backward point, an extra cover and a mid-off as well here we go then <coughs> and that strikes Parker on the pad that one and it runs out there to square leg and there's no run and it's um, Parker up there at the crease he's 
Got a slip in the gully for company as the next one goes in now and he drives this one straight back down the ground and the bowler gets down there to it quickly. And there's no run. Dan Parker. 404 runs for the league season. 14 innings averaging 37 with three not outs and he just uh, the second one that one hits the pad as well and just um, trickles out to the leg side where it's fielded and there's no run again and what is a calm afternoon now the breeze has dropped and it's going to be Parker again to face this one and that's hit him on the pad coming forward and there's Quite half a stifled appeal there and the umpire not um, worried about that one one ball left in the second over here of Tyndale's reply Parker now just settles in a nice compact stance as he faces this one and goes outside the off stump through to the wicket keeper does not for a shot at that one and I beg your pardon uh, one more left in the over um the uh, umpire must have signalled two left to his colleague there and uh, he just said the umpire settles himself again but here's Parker again facing up it's full and that one strikes him on the pad and there's another shout for LBW but he was looked like he was outside the line there we're about straight on here down quite straight on the long on boundary to the left hand up at the top end and that's the end of the second over and Tyndale yet to score, chasing to 315 to win here this afternoon. So it's um, a big score, and I haven't quite got the um, figures for it, but I'm not sure Tyndale have chased this many to win before. Um, not that I can remember off the top of my head, but uh, if they have, it, it won't take away the achievement if they do it today. But it's Denton again who's about to bowl at that top end. Right arm over the wicket with one slip. Um, no gully now. There's a third man. It's Cantu. Leaves one alone outside the off stump. A full ball and it's beaten the wicket keeper this time. It's coming down to third man for um, two runs. Cant sprints up there. Runs up to this end. By signalled by the umpire there. So the score is um, Tyndale. I've got away now. It's... Uh, Three, three for no wicket. There must have been a single or a run there. I can't remember um, a run coming, but um, never mind. Here's Denton again to Cant, who just plays at a full one there and pushes it back to the bowler. And there's no run. So scoreboard reads three for no wicket. Um, in the third over, I have the reply here. As I said, it's just a minute or two ago. It's calmed down. The breeze has gone here. And we've got some higher cloud coming in from the left. As long as there's enough breeze left to chase this grey stuff away. That's heading out towards the sea to our right. And the next one, Kant doesn't offer a shot there. And it goes through to the wicketkeeper. It was, um, the line was just outside the off stump. And it got some bounce as well. And already there's a... Um, it's coming through at quite a pace. Tyndale didn't have that luxury at the start of their innings. Um, and perhaps they did ball too short at the start with a slow pitch. But he has dent again and that's on leg stump and it's turned round the corner. And he's going to get four for that cant down to the deep backward square boundary here. Four runs signalled by the umpire. So there we go. Um, four more to the total. It takes it to seven for no wicket. Cant gets off the mark. Um, with four and there must have been an extra somewhere along the line I must have missed a no ball or something like that um, as well so can't settle himself again and it's Denton who has the ball up at the top end who runs in now and bowls to Kant and he's down and it's low and this will go for four byes will it yes it's beat the fielder and that's the third or fourth ball that's kept really low pitched on a full length outside the off stump and it's beaten Kant who's tried to chop the bat down onto it but um, it's gone for four byes again this time so 11 for no wicket now Tyndale 304 they need for victory now and we've already had a few extras. There's well over 20 in the Tyndale innings. Uh, the Almouth innings, I beg your pardon. 
as in comes the next one now and Kant goes forward and just um, skews the ball out there to cover point and there's no run and that's three overs gone in the reply here Tyndale chasing 315 now 11 for no wicket Kant is four and Parker yet to score he'll have the strike at the start of this next over as the field has all changed round And I don't think there'll be any rush here for Canton Parker um, to go blasting it about. Um, and I think it may really need these two to stick at it here to get um, Tyndale off to a good start. But here's Parker facing the first over and he comes forward and just plays that into mid-wicket to the left there. And there's no run. Eleven for no wicket time deal in reply here. Fourth over. It's brightened up a bit. So here's Parker who drives this one, but uh, nicely fielded in at extra cover there off the ground. A nice diving stop. And um, there's no run there, so the score remains the same. And the flag now drooping down. It's in a droopy mode now up at the clubhouse there. Hardly any breeze. You wouldn't believe it from just half an hour ago. As Parker goes forward to the next one and just pushes it out here to mid-off and there's no run. And Parker settles himself. One slip in a gully in. A point, extra cover, mid-off, mid-on, mid-wicket. Fine leg and a backward square leg. Parker drives this time but again it's straight to the fielder there. Along the ground though. So he's... They're good shots, they're just he's just not getting them wide of that fielder. He's, that's where most of them have gone so far, apart from a couple hit to the leg side. And here's Parker again, faces up, and that one's pushed in the gap between Exeter and Midoff, and they get one, a quick single there. Well run from Parker. Um to the right hand in the gap there between extra cover and mid-off. It was a full ball and he just came forward and he actually hit that one with the bat quite away from his body but he got enough on it for a nut to skew in the air and that takes Kant on to strike at the top end. This is the first ball he'll face from this top end. Um, a change in the field. Mid-wickets come out in to strengthen up at cover point for the right-hander. And there's... Um, Kant who goes forward and defends that one out to extra cover and it um, remains no run off the last ball there so 12 for no wicket after 4 overs here at Tyndale 315 the target is so um, we'll have the next over and then we'll leave you alone for just a bit and then we'll come on at 6 o'clock again and while Tyndale will get into the chase here and see how they can do chasing this um, target of 303 they still need off um, 46 overs or oh, as the time runs down 3 hours and 12 minutes left tonight we have to stop at half past 8 at the latest but a glimpse of sunshine now just a hint of it as he Parker faces the next one and turns it through the gap there between square leg and straight mid wicket for a single and the umpire just moves quietly out the way there and um, he doesn't have to signal anything there I think there was a bit of pad in it as well so the score goes to 13 for no wicket now Tyndale 302 now they need to win and Kant it is who faces up again drives this time not uh, not with any power though and the ball just bounces out there to extra cover and there's no run the light has definitely got better definitely clearer we can see up onto the ridge a bit better now across to the right hand side the bonfire or the barbecue that was going on in the distance there it's um, stopped now as Kant drives the next one again out there to extra cover and um, there's no no doubt they're settling in for the long haul these two here in the fifth over Parker two not out Kant on strike four not out and Denton bowling 
Here he comes now over the wicket, bowling to Kant with one slip. Kant this time. Oh, and that one um, bounced a bit and Kant surprised on the crease there. Just managed to drop his hands in time to let that one through to the wicketkeeper. And it's a good job he saw that one early. There's a cabbage white butterfly just disappears across to the right. First one we've seen today. And here's Kant again facing up. Denton to bowl. Short this time and Kant's played it behind square on the offside. Hamantha's after it. They've got one. They're coming back for two. Hamantha hauls it in now. Right arm through. Zips it into the wicket keeper there. And two more to the total and two more to Kant. Kant moves to six and the score goes to 15 for no wicket. So 300 to win for Tyndale now or 10 wickets to take for a full win for Almouth. And this will do there. A win for Almouth today would do their position no harm in the league as Denton to Cantu drives but not um, doesn't time that one and the ball just runs out there to cover point and there's no run off the last ball there and that's the end of the fifth over. Time deal, 15 for no wicket, still needing another 300 to win here. Cant 6 and Parker 2. And that's where I'll leave you. So we're back on at the time we're back on at six o'clock here on Spooky Internet Radio on Cricket West Town. Um thanks to our sponsors again, Canton Brisland Dairy Products, the Royal Oak Hotel, Country Hotel at Cornsey Colliery, and um experts in business, the business consultancy who have helped us out this season and we're grateful to it as well to keep us on the air here on Spooky Internet Radio, the Cricket West Town programme. But I'll leave you until six o'clock with Tyndale, fifteen for no wicket, still needing another three hundred to win. Parker and Kant at the crease, Kant six not out, um, Parker two and Tyndale fifteen for no wicket. Speak to you again at six o'clock. <laughs>